Oh, welcome back to Josiah Plays Deus Ex Human Revolution, The Missing Link. I'm going to read this third email here on John White's computer. Uh, I think I've read this, though. Yeah, I have. This is a, a copy of another one that I already read about security personnel, and they need to do some stuff for some stuff. <clears throat> yeah, you know, you remember. You saw me read it. And if you didn't, well, go back and watch my earlier videos in this series. Okay. Here we have a little information. Jose, Jose Alvarez wanted. Subject 1, whoever this guy is. Growing area. Simpson Desert, huh? Hmm. wonder if they've got their secret black ops projects going on in Australia again. Wonder if that's the place we'll get to go in a in another uh, addition to the game. Who knows? Possibly, it'd be pretty cool. If so, scope assembly for rocket launcher. Hello, how's my rocket launcher coming? Um, aiming sight and targeting scope for a 329 series man portable rocket system. So. I've got. I have all the elements I need to make the rocket launcher, right? The scope, the trigger, and the and the barrel. Probably when I get to some guy. Uh, that. You know, whoever maybe the vendor, the merchant in here, maybe they can put the rocket launcher together for me if I've found all the pieces, or whatever. We'll see. That's kind of what I'm thinking, how I'm thinking it's going to go down. Oh, look at this. Hmm. Extract. Interesting. Little tactical map there. So here is another vent I can use. Let's check it out. Hmm, where is this taking me? I don't know. Oh, well, this is that hallway I was just in with the camera. So where else is this taking me? And now I'm looking, ooh, into some other kind of office. Look, there's another cool map there. Oh, and I can just go in to said office. Fantastic. I don't know where I am, actually. This place is pretty labyrinthine. It's pretty... So what do we have here? Ooh, what's this? Spratly Islands. Christmas Island. Hmm. I don't know what this mysterious site is, but... Maybe that's where we are, or maybe that's some other secret place, secret facility, or... You know, something or other. Another computer I can use. Uh, interesting stuff. Okay, well, and then there's a door. Let's uh, take a look at this bad boy. D. Coverley's computer. I don't think we've seen his name before, or her. Hmm. Alright, well, let's just grab both of these. Quickly fortify. Take, take. Ooh, spam. That'll be useful. Okay, I should be good. Yeah, and I got, I got the data stores, so awesome. Anthony Teasdale at btmi.belltower to Davis Coverley. Operation Southern Cross. Major, C Company arrived on schedule and will be, I said schedule, uh, arrived on schedule and will be deployed temporarily around Brisbane later to join up with platoons from A Company near Cairns under command of Major Lenoy. Brisbane itself has been fortified and has taken little direct damage. 
Encroachment on interior NTFSA camps is progressing. For the most part, the resistance we have encountered is light. Combatants are untrained, undisciplined, and overmatched by our regular forces. It is impossible to determine to where they are retreating. I am concerned about the increasing amount of Chinese troops and equipment we are seeing, especially augmented combatants. Chinese interests in Australian oil notwithstanding, this could damage our relations regarding certain existing security contracts. A detailed encrypted report of troop movements will be forthcoming. Hmm, I wonder if this is talking about some of their contracts in Hangsha or with Tai Young Medical or whatever. See, all this stuff about the stuff going on in Australia really makes me think they're going to be sending us to Australia in a, in a DLC or an expansion or a sequel to this game. Which would be pretty neat that all this stuff was built up to it ahead of time, if I'm right. Philip Rose to Davis Coverley. Advice? Major Coverley, it has come to my attention that there may be some dis dissension brewing vis-a-vis -vis the number and nature of the unprivileged belligerents being housed in the Rifleman Bank Station detention camp, as well as their ultimate condition. I fully re realize that BT's worldwide efforts to stem the tide of terrorism and our contractual demands as a business may often force us to be over-enthusiastic in our methods. This is to be expected from men who put their lives on the line for the good of the many. However, I have found that in an increasing number of visitors to the chaplaincy have raised concerns about our guests, their provenance, and their eventual whereabouts. Please understand. I am not questioning our purpose, and I am aware of Commander Burke's policy on this matter, as well as his admirable aims. I simply wish to comfort any of the personnel who come to me searching for solace over what they have seen, what they feel they may have been forced to do, or what they believe may, may be being done to certain detainees. Awaiting your guidance, Philip D. Rose, 2nd Lieutenant, Chaplain. That's the second thing we've seen in the Chaplain. Chaplain seems like a good guy. And, uh, yeah, it looks like some of the people, even some of the Bell Tower people here, are concerned about the ethical implications, and they're actually starting to feel guilty or worried about some of the extremely bad things that are being done with who these people that they're taking are, whether they deserve it, how they're being treated, and, you know, ultimately how wrong all of this actually is. Uh, here's from the support services to all... Implementation of new mesh schedule. I said schedule again. <laughs> Which I know that's like how some people pronounce it, but I always pronounce it schedule. So when I say schedule, it's like, because I have a couple of friends that say it that way. And so I say it that way, like, just to make fun of them, basically. Even though, again, it's not that it's not a legitimate way to pronounce it. It's just not how I pronounce it. So when I say it like that, like, unconsciously, it's just kind of funny to me. Anyway, let me just <laughs> go right back to reading this. And enough uh, ridiculous personal uh, anecdotes. Implementation of new mess schedule. To avoid any more incidents with crossover mess hours, it has become necessary to stagger access to the various mess halls on base. New mess schedules will be posted and sent ASAP. While inner service and intra service rivalries are to be expected, food fights and other will not be tolerated. The mess crew and janitorial have their hands full enough already. This being a high security base under wartime operations, base security has been authorized to lay charges in the future. By order of Lieutenant Commander Keitner, Sebastian L. Grain, Sergeant, BT Support Services, Rifleman Bank Station. Also, we are in the process of changing our food service contractor. While this may result in some minor disruptions, we expect the new contractor to be up and running smoothly within a week to expect to change in menu soon. Right, so kind of hard to keep all these guys, all these military guys that are cooped up on these bases and in these ships and stuff from uh, getting rowdy with each other. But they ain't trying to have it, is what is what he's trying to say. Enough. No more throwing food and punches at each other, guys. It ain't cool, he says. It ain't cool. Alright, so I went through this vent. I don't want to go through that door right now. Not at the moment. I'm going to go back through this vent. 
to the other little office. Okay, now then, we have this camera here. Uh, that I need to figure out a way to deal with. I mean, I guess I'll just kind of sneak past it or whatever, but... Maybe what I'll do... Set this box here. Set this box on top of... Well, hold on. <laughs> Thinking if I set these boxes up here, I might be able to... Um, I might be able to hack this now, shielded. Let's see. Oh, I don't even need to hack this. It's just open. Okay. Oh. This is that office I was just in. Right. All right. Let's come out here and see there's another another one. Let's wait for the camera. Oh, that's just a that's just a uh an alarm panel, isn't it? Well, I'm not going to be able to hack that while the camera's still active. So, you can just come over here a big padlock right there. Come over here. Wait for the camera to pass. And then head down the hall here. This game's so cool. I feel like this awesome badass cyber spy sneaking around. Hey, dedicated terminal, huh? This I should be able to hack. I mean, yeah, ooh, uh, okay. Let me just, you know what, I'm nuking this first one. And then I'm hoping I can take this one undetected. I was wrong, okay, so that's not good, but. Oh, this one's got two, holy shit. I'm in trouble here. I'm in bad, bad trouble. I wasted a nuke and did not succeed at hacking it. And I do not have the software to waste here. Ooh, that's bad news. You know what? I'm going to do a couple of things here. First thing I'm going to do, reload my quick save. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Second thing I'm going to do, wait at a unusually long loading screen. Second thing I'm going to do, cut the bullshit. What where where where's my where's my shit? Boom. Stealth 2 hacking, taking it. Done. Now then, let's have another talk, Mr. Panel. Oh, still 50%. That's ridiculous. Nope. How many tries do I get? Two more? Come on. Thank you. Good, 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 good. So now, that one's only 30%. Hopefully... Okay, excellent. Now I'm in good shape. I'm in good shape now. Um... Alright, let's do this. Wait. Cool. I'm all set now. I got all the data stores and everything, right? Access granted. Yeah, I did. Cool. Cable duct access. It's closed, but I can open it. Oh, neat. I opened a... Oh, I opened something cool here. Awesome. Okay, well, that's all the time I have for this video. So, thank you for watching. Josiah plays Deus Ex Human Revolution, The Missing Link. I'll see you next time.